Hi everybody, and once again welcome back to Chet's Rental Used Equipment on YouTube. Today we're going to be showcasing a 2010 uh, Manlift. It's a product made by Nifty Lift, model number TM34G, and the G is for gas unit. Uh, it's got a 40 foot working height, uh, 16 foot 5 inches working outreach, 8 foot 10 working width, uh, 500 pound platform capacity and the unit tows at only 2600 pounds, just a little bit under that. Uh, these units have a pretty significant retail price and we're currently asking 9500 for this unit. For a 2010 it's a great deal. We'll do a quick walk around here and give you a little bit of an insight as far as what the condition is. Here at Chet's Rental, uh, we're extremely compliant with OSHA and ANSI regulations, so every time the unit goes out, pre and post rental, uh, we always do inspections, plus we do an annual inspection to keep everything on the up and up. Uh, the tongue, jockey wheel, jack, all in good functional condition. Structurally, the integrity of the unit is good. All pens, mast, everything is in good condition. Welds are really good. This one's got a uh, manual descent. The basket is in good condition. This unit you can actually operate either from basket or ground. It's got a lot of safety features that we'll list out in the description of the posting. It's got tail lights for towing. All the outriggers are in good condition. The sensors are working well. And there's our annual inspection which was done last August of 2013. This unit is powered by a uh, Honda GX160 with the electric start and it's also got a manual start. It's got about a gallon and a half, two gallon fuel capacity, hydraulic reservoir, and on this particular unit the wheels actually slide in and out if you get into a tight spot. It's got instructions on how to do it. Simply unscrew this, jack the unit up off the ground, pull the pen, and you can slide the wheels in and push it into a narrow place. It's got eye bubbles. A boom clasp. And we'll start it up here in a second and uh, show you operation. Probably won't be able to hear my voice very well, but we can definitely go over and show you that everything works good. The Honda engines are all pretty standardized as far as operation. You have a fuel lever on the bottom, and you've got choke, and then you have your throttle. During transportation, it's always a good idea to shut the fuel off. That way you don't mix oil and fuel together through the cylinder. In fact, there's a little diagram illustrating that. So when you get to the job site, turn it on. If you have to, choke it. Hit your ignition. And you're ready to go. Once the unit is warmed up, what you want to do is make sure the key is in the down position. Hold down your green button. The unit actually gets up in the air relatively quickly, and it also has a nice, almost 360 spin rotation to it. Let's see if we can do this with one hand.
And to let it down, it's the same process, just in reverse. Press in the green button. You always want to throttle down, turn your fuel off, and then kill the Honda engine. When it's in the stow position and you lower the mass, you always want to make sure that this clasp is actually seated between the bracket and the bracket housing. Simply put the clasp in, latch it down, and you're ready for transportation after you extend the outriggers up and slide them in. If you have any questions, call Brian at Chet's Rental Warren location. We're at 2200 East 14 Mile Road in Warren, Michigan. That's between Ryan and Quinder. Our phone number is 586-264-2420. Or feel free to shoot us an email at Warren, W-A-R-R-E-N, at Chet'sRental.com. And that's at C H E T S. R E N T A L L dot com. As always, thank you for visiting Chet's Rental YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate the business and look forward to speaking with you.